I'm squishing up my baby. Oh, here we go. We're doing it. Oh, come on. How do I... Where is... There it is. Okay. I feel like it's been a while since we've done this, and now <laughs> I'm like confused and forgetful about how to actually do a, a live show. Hello from Brazil. Hello. And I also don't understand why sometimes I can't zoom in, but sometimes I can. There we, there we go. go. It's funny. I think what it has to do is that there has to be more than just one uh, like page of comments. Oh, gotcha. Can you see all that? Hello from Norway. Wow. Hello. How's everybody doing? Yes. How are you this Wednesday? So we're doing it on a different day today, but I think we're going to get back to normal next week. So next week will be hopefully Tuesday, Friday again. Yes. We're going to try really be. hard. Yeah. We're going to try really hard to keep it on... Uh, the normal days. Hi, Mike. Um, hello from my job. Oh, my goodness. Uh oh. Are you allowed <laughs> to be watching this during your job? We won't tell. Um, thank uh, you. Somebody said, I hope you're doing well physically and mentally. Thank you so much. I feel like we're definitely doing well mentally. Physically, I feel like the whole quarantine thing is like I'm getting kind of sluggish. Going to Universal that one day? Wow. <laughs> I, that wore me out. I don't know if you like weren't used to going to the parks. It's so hot now. And also um, like just walking around. Like I'm not used to walking around that much. Yeah. Man. Um, Eric said he liked your shirt. It's oh, thank from, you. It's from Uniqlo. It's really from cool. Uniqlo. Yeah. Um, yeah, I did enjoy my trip to Universal. It was nice to get out. Yeah. It was nice to go get some sunshine. Mm -hmm. And it felt okay. Like it didn't feel, I, I could stay away from people and that's all that I really needed to do. Well, it definitely seems like it was not very crowded at all. So it seemed like it would be easy. And I don't know how the crowds are going to be like here going on Going forward. Yeah. Who knows? Right. Um, but it seemed like it was fairly easy to stay away. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah, yeah. Thoughts on The Good Place. It was great. Oh, it's so good. I feel like I need to watch the last episode again because I, I feel like I didn't really like, I, I don't know if we were, if the baby was... Something was happening with the baby, but I feel like I was only half watching it. Oh. So I need to rewatch that. Yeah, it was good. Everyone needs to wear... Oh, does everyone need to wear a mask? I'm 12. You yes. do. Yeah, if you're over the age of two, you have to wear a mask. Jackson is napping. How cool was it in Universal? As far as like... I don't know if they mean like how cool... Cool dude? Or like weather. Or like temperature wise, because <laughs> it was very hot. Oh, no. Jesse said, I'm watching from bed because I'm feeling like a sloth today. <laughs> oh. Same. <laughs> um, are you guys going to go to Legoland? So, I talked to some people at Universal that went to Legoland on opening day, and they said that 90% of the people there were not wearing masks. So, I don't think I'm going to be going. That makes me a little bit um, nervous just because, because of Jackson. Right. You know, like... It just worries me slightly knowing that you have to wear a mask at Disney and you have to wear a mask at Universal. And I think at SeaWorld and yeah. Busch Gardens, they oh, announced. SeaWorld and Busch Gardens, yeah, yeah. you have to wear so a mask. Yeah, so I feel more comfortable with you going there than at a place where you, there's like a 50-50 chance, you know? Yeah. Uh, Jen said that she put on pants today, so today's a good day. Oh. <laughs> I love that. Um, oh, somebody said, sorry, the name went by too quick, but somebody said that they... Um, that Jackson is a gorgeous baby. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Oh, people are asking me about my... So this is a cardigan that I got at Target, and it looks like a... Like a bathrobe? Yeah, like a towel kind of. But yeah. it's like... Um, what do you call that? It's not like terry cloth. It's like chenille. Chenille? Yeah, yeah do you know what I mean? Is those, that a real word? I'm pretty sure it is. It's like those blankets that are really soft. You know what I'm talking about? We used to I have, know what you're talking about, but I don't know what it's called. Is it called chenille? I feel like it is. But that's what it is. That's what it's made out of, and it's so comfortable. Hi, Zach from Florida. Park blogs are back. Sorry, park vlogs are back. Uh, which masks do you prefer in the Florida heat? Mm -hmm. um, so I haven't tried this one for like uh, sweat. Uh, what do you call that? Like, like resistance. Oh yeah. But the paper, just like the ones that you get from Amazon, that are like surgical masks. Those are the ones that I have been the most comfortable in the heat, mm -hmm. but I haven't been out for long enough that I got like as sweaty as I would on a normal hot day. Yeah, you were gone for like long enough that you 
Yeah. Because even when we went to the park, we were able to kind of like duck into the car. Yeah. But. And then, but the one that, I, the one that uh, is like a neck gator for me, it also has a filter in the front of it. That's the one that I feel the best about because of the filter. Yeah. A lot of you guys were asking about that in the, in the universal video and um, we didn't link it, but it is in the last video where we went to a nature park. Oh, okay. The moss park video. Yeah. 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 So if you want to check it out, it's in the moss park um, description of that video. Did you get tired faster with the mask? Now here's the thing. <laughs> so I haven't been doing like park days for months. Right. And so I don't know if I was tired because of the mask or if I was just tired because like I'm sunburned. You can see it. Mm -hmm. You can see that I'm sunburned. Like I was, I haven't been out in the sun. I know. And so I think that it was, could have been a combination of the two, but I felt more like I would if I was tired from the sun. Right. Rather than like I had just like run a marathon or something. I wasn't like out of breath. Yeah. I was just like tired. Because, and my legs hurt and we've stuff. We've been like inside. Yeah. And we haven't been, we've been walking around our neighborhood, but that's not the same as like walking around a theme park. Yeah. So. Volcano um, Bay. I've been uh, unsure of Volcano. I don't think I would go and get in the water at Volcano Bay. If I went to Volcano Bay, I would just walk around. Yeah. But I wouldn't get in the water. Not yet. Not yet. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I know. I needed to wear sunscreen. It's just like I wasn't used to wearing sunscreen before. Like weren't even thinking about it. Right. Hot one sauces. We have them. Yeah. So our friends, um, Jim and Jake and Lisa sent us the, the sauces from the show Hot Ones. And we were going to do like a like a mock like Hot Ones episode. Yeah. But I can't have the hot sauces because I'm breastfeeding Jackson. Right. So it would just be you. It's just me eating hot sauce. Yeah. Maybe we'll do that. Yeah. We'll see. But that was like months ago we got those sauces and then we just never... We used the classic one, and it's good. Yeah. But not the, like, last dab or the... What was the other one called? The middle one. It's, uh... They're too hot. El Los Calientes? Is that what it is? I it's, think like, so. the green one, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they're just, like, too hot for me. Rusty Park Goers, that's true. I know. <laughs> Rusty Park Goer is my, uh, my alias. Oh, hi, Kirky. Hi, Chris. The Jurassic Ride looks amazing. It does. So good. I can't wait to ride... Like, hopefully, I'll be able to ride it. Somebody said, any HHN updates? Oh, yeah. Did you look? I did. Oh. The only definitive update that I have for you guys is that they have started auditions. Oh, that's it? That's it. How do you know? That's uh, People were tweeting about yeah, it? Yeah, people were tweeting about uh, it. Oh, okay. But, like, that's all. You need to take a trip to Dollywood. We loved oh, Dollywood when so we good. went. Yeah, it was so much fun. And we stayed at the Dreammore, the uh, Dreammore hotel yeah and it was so nice like just it was just such a pretty area i would totally yeah. go back i would go back there i'd go back to silver dollar city There's, we want to go to bush gardens williamsburg because they upgraded our passes oh yeah after so the parks we... were closed so we can go to like any sea world any bush gardens yeah hey, the mib tent is up but yeah. like I, th I think that just stays up year round i know it, it came never down, went away it came down for a second for them to do demo mm. But then I think it just went right back up afterwards. Gotcha. So Tiffany Ann mentioned that um, yesterday's premiere, there were 6,500 people that came to see yesterday's premiere of the theme park um, video. And we were so excited that like so many of you guys were excited to go back to the parks with Tim. Yeah. Like it was really, I don't know. It was cool. So it was thank exciting. you. Yeah. Thank you guys if you tuned in. That was awesome. Somebody asked about Iron Gwazi. And that was the thing that I thought was so strange is that. Uh, they were doing testing. Like mm -hmm. people have ridden, like the the top engineers have ridden Iron Gwazi. Oh, they have. Yeah. Oh. They did water dummies, and then they did the first, like, the like uh, what's his name? What? Um, oh, what's his name? I don't know. Who? Uh, the guy that I went to school with his brother. Oh, that guy. Andrew. Yeah. Uh, he wrote it. Yeah. Yeah. And what did they say? Did well, they say anything? They, didn't, they can't say anything. Oh, gotcha. No. Okay. <laughs> um, I keep seeing somebody asking um, if Jackson was a girl, what would his name have been? And I don't want to say the name just in case we have a girl. Like, we're not trying to have another baby, but like just in case we do and we have a girl, I want to keep that name like kind of to myself until then. Yeah. Um, but we did have a name. I don't even know. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that guy. 
I made pictures of Tim, Jen, and Jackson. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, some people were also asking what, um, how can they send mail to us in our mailbox is currently closed. Did you write that in the description? Oh, I didn't. No. Okay. So we'll have to um, update the title of this video, but the mailbox is currently closed. It's just hard right now with the pandemic and like mail and everything, but also we are still catching up on mail from two years ago. So we don't want to bring new mail in right now um, until we can get caught up on everything. So somebody wants to know if you like Harry Styles song, Watermelon Sugar. I do. Yes. I love it. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, uh, I am not going to Bush Gardens tomorrow. Somebody asked you to show like model your whole shirt. Can you, can you see, see it? it? Move over a little bit so they can see. Yeah, there you go. He always makes you smile. It's from Uniqlo, though. It's very... Um, and that's the thing is Uniqlo goes through seasons, so I don't know if this is available anymore. It probably isn't, honestly, but they have cool stuff right now. So if you yeah. if you like their stuff, um, I would definitely check out their website. Oh, Adam said, um, any updates on the forums? And we're still working on that. I'm sorry. Yeah. It kind of took a back burner for a little bit just with everything that's going on. But we hopefully will get that launched sometime soon. But uh, I only like one flavor of bubbly, and that's this mango, and that's it. Huh. Oh, hi from Australia, where it's three a.m. Wow. 3 wow. <laughs> um, do you think the Jurassic Park or coast coaster will be themed with dinosaurs? Yes. Yes. Um, oh, Amanda asked if I have any lounge fly bags, and I don't. You have one, but it's not um, it's like, like a mini backpack. It's not like, like the cool, like, the, yeah, it's just a regular backpack that we use at the water parks. Yeah, but it's it's un it's, you can't get it anymore. No, cool. it, I got it on clearance at Hot Topic for like $10, so it's you can't get it anymore. But it's like a Neverland, like the map. Oh, the, yeah. That's like the print. Somebody says thoughts on uh, Give Kids the World. And we're super sad. Like, that's the saddest news ever. I know. I can't believe that. That makes me, like, literally, it just makes me so sad to think about all the kids who are not going to have that, like, week of fun. Right. So in case you guys haven't heard, uh, what is it? Make-A-Wish, who is the biggest backer of Give Kids the World, mm -hmm. said that they're not going to be granting or sending people on trips until there is a widespread vaccine right, for COVID-19. Until people have been using the vaccine. Like, yeah. not even, like, just when it comes out, but people have to be actively, successfully using it. Right. So I feel like they're not going to be able to grant wishes for years. Yeah. So uh, Give Kids the World had to make the decision to shut down indefinitely. Yeah. And they are, they had to lay everybody off, too. It's so terrible. Like, that, like, I know that the pandemic has been affecting everybody in a negative way as far as people losing their jobs and people obviously like losing their lives and people being, um, you know, displaced. And it's just, it's been terrible. But that was the thing that really cemented, because it's such a local, yeah, you know, like a, what do you call it? Like a landmark? Like it's such a local, a huge thing for Orlando. Yeah, Give Kids Orlando World. staple. Yeah, there you go. And um, just the fact that they can't, like they're literally not going to open again. Right. That's so insanely sad. Dang. Um, <laughs> watermelon sugar bubbly. It's actually um, this oh, new got the brand. Aha. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have heard of this brand, this Aha brand, but they do like combo sparkling water. So this one's orange grapefruit, and then I have strawberry cucumber, and they're both so good. What's your next Lego project? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. What are s'mores? I live in the UK and I don't know. So it's a graham cracker, like which for you guys is kind of like your digestive biscuits. Yeah. Sort of. It's like a like similar a wheat cracker almost, but yeah. not a sweet. Um. And then uh, chocolate and marshmallow. Yeah, chocolate and marshmallow, and then you you put it over like an open fire, so it's um like a camp thing, like you do it outside at camp or, you know, something like that. Yeah. Um, Tiffany asked if I'm going to do a new Jen does it video. And yes, I am going to do a new video. It's just been hard this week. Um, the baby has been like his sleep schedule has been kind of funky. So we've been having less sleep. And so, um, it's been tough this week getting enough time to do like our daily videos and my videos on my channel. So we're going to, I'm going to come back to it next week. I think. I feel like 
as soon as we got in here and started recording, my contacts just like dried out. I don't uh, know what happened, but I feel like I'm like, oh no. So I'm sorry. If I keep rubbing my eyes, I'm sorry. And if I look like I've been crying. Oh no. Were you crying? Just, I'm, you're crying. <laughs> um, any plans on going to King's Dominion? I mean, we don't have plans for anything at the moment. No, our plans kind of stopped. But we'd love to. Yeah, there's lots of stuff we want to do. It's just a matter of like, when can we do it? I don't know. Podcast. A new podcast will be coming out soon as well. Yeah, that was another thing that we didn't get to. Um, we didn't get to record because of the baby. But we will. We totally will. Let me ask you guys something. So last time I went to the eye doctor, I asked them about LASIK. And my eye doctor's like, no, nah, you're too old. Is that a thing? Did, did she really say that? Yeah. Oh. Like, you're, it's too, too, like, high, I don't know what, what her, it wasn't too high risk. She just said, like, you can't, you're too old to do it. Really? Like, our eyes, my eyes made it to the point that they're, like, at their best that they're going to be, and then they're going to start deteriorating now. Oh, yeah? I don't know. Is that well, something that happens? Um. Oh, somebody said they bought the spicy bird seed and it worked like a charm. So yeah, we, ours did too. Yeah, ours, like... We literally just went through one um, like round of the bird seed and the bird feeder, and it it lasted for like over a week. Yeah. Well, everybody's saying that's nonsense. I wonder why she said that. That's I don't so know. I've been going to that eye doctor since I was like five years old. Aaron said to get another opinion. I think that's a good idea. What the heck? My grandma got LASIK two years ago. Maybe she just wants me to keep coming back. Oh no! It's like the big big optometry business. Yeah. Um, why didn't you ride anything at Universal? A lot of people were asking that. Uh, number one, you can't film on anything at Universal. Yeah, so he like could ride it and just not show you. Um, I saw that people were filming on the rides at Universal, and they are breaking the rules. So like we're not going to do that. I, I understand that some people are fine with doing that, but it's the reason why you can't film on the rides is because it's not safe to have like your camera... Like, I saw people filming on Hagrid's. Yeah, that's and if you drop your camera on Hagrid's, then they have to cycle the entire thing. So that's well, like two hours that they're down. But also, it could, like, hit somebody in the eye. It could, like, that's what happened on Dueling Dragons. Right. Somebody literally, like, lost their eye. Yeah. And so you don't want to put somebody else's health at risk just so you can get, like, a clip for your YouTube video. It just seems selfish. Right. But also, so, like, if you do it right with the GoPro and stuff like that. If you're allowed to. Yeah. But you're not allowed to. Right. Like, if you if you were doing it right with the GoPro, you would have to clip it to the car. Well, or, like, to your hand like you do at SeaWorld. Right. I don't know. It just seems like we won't be doing that. Right. But um, but also, you there was so much stuff for you to update throughout the park. I feel like that's why, too. Yeah. Like and then there the was... rain started coming in, so I left. Yeah. But also, like, I'm I not think... comfortable going inside anywhere yet. Right, yeah. And so, like, a lot of the rides have indoor queues, and I, I'm, not, I'm not quite there yet. Soon. I think it's baby steps, you know? Yeah. Do you think Iron Gwazi will be better than Steel Vengeance? We haven't ridden Steel Vengeance. Right. So I'm not sure. Uh, oh. It may be see. better to stay nearsighted because... Hold on, we got to read your comment, said. Rebecca. Maybe better to stay nearsighted because... Age-related worse near vision coming. What? It may be better to stay nearsighted because age-related worse near vision is coming. Oh, if like you get LASIK. Oh. So like if I get LASIK, I okay. I understand now. So like, you know how when you get older you have to wear reading glasses. Yeah. Like I won't have to do that if I stay nearsighted. Oh, I'll never okay. have to get reading glasses, but if I get LASIK, then I might need reading glasses later in life. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Here's the thing. My vision is real bad. Yeah. So, if I got LASIK and then needed reading glasses later in life, that's not so bad. No, it isn't. I don't really read anyways. I feel like you should ask again, though. The lens in your eye hardens, which causes... The lens in your eye hardens, which causes near vision. LASIK does not correct near vision. Oh, okay. LASIK affects your near vision. Okay. Gotcha. I understand. So, like, I don't know. I might need reading glasses then. Yeah. 
Which I wouldn't Which have to fine. wear all the time. Right, yeah. I don't know. I'm pretty pretty darn uh pretty darn blind though. So <laughs> What's your um pr- somebody asked what your prescription was? Uh negative five fifty on oh. both eyes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's was like negative twenty five, so Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um I heard LASIK was best at age 35 to 40. So I think you should ask your doctor again and see. Okay. But make a video on Jackson's first lemon reaction. So that is something you're supposed to do. You are supposed to give a baby a lemon, um, I think at nine months old or eight months old. He's not quite old enough to do it yet. But when he is old enough, we will be doing it. Because he, it's so that they can learn what sour is. Right. It's like a learning experience for babies. So um, we'll do it at some point. Oh, a lot of people are saying they're like pretty close to the same blindness as me. Oh, One person no. was exactly as blind as me. <laughs> oh, no. This person says that there's a negative 10 at eight years old. Oh, Naughty Sauce says my girlfriend had LASIK and she constantly has dry eyes. Oh, I constantly have dry eyes as it is. Oh, no, it's going to get worse. Oh, Tim looks mad today. Ah, <laughs> Every day. Um, will you go to Horror Nights if it opens? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, as long as it's not ridiculous, like... As long as there are our rules. Yeah. And it's not just like, eh, it's the same as it was last year. Right. Then I'd probably be like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, Harry Styles concert news soon. Yeah, so we haven't gotten any news about our tickets. So we bought tickets and um, they were kind of expensive. Like his tickets are just expensive in general, especially because they're at the arena or yeah. the, what do they call it now? The, uh, it's still called the arena. But it has like a... Amway sp- Arena? Is that what it is? I think so. It used to be the O Arena. Yeah. Um. So they were kind of expensive. And then we didn't know if we were going to be able to actually go to the concert. And I don't think we are going to be able to go to the concert this year. But we'll see. Because it's in uh, August. Right. Um. Oh, okay. Somebody said to open the mail. So yeah, we should. We're okay. doing a mail vlog. <laughs> um, oh, I'm no. addicted to Mango Bubbly now. It's so good, right? Oh, congratulations. Taylor was accepted to dental school. Oh. That's awesome. Can you check out this this tooth for me? What's wrong with your tooth? I mean, they told me I have a cavity. Oh, no. Remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Will you ever go to Graceland? <gasps> yes, I want to yeah, go to Graceland. I do, too. Are you planning on going to SeaWorld tomorrow? Are they opening tomorrow? Yeah. Wow. Sorry, I burped. Susan! Oh, 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 O'Reilly. <laughs> Thoughts on the crowd levels. It wasn't bad. It was more crowded in Islands of Adventure than uh, Universal. Oh, okay. So I think I would go to Universal. Oh, he is asleep. Somebody asked where Jackson was. He's asleep. Oh, somebody got an Invisalign today. Ooh, Arlette, I got Invisalign today. That's exciting. That is exciting. I've always kind of wondered about Invisalign. Yeah. Because it's less invasive than braces, and it takes less time than braces. It's less time? That's what I've heard. Why isn't everybody using it? I don't know. Maybe it's more expensive? Doesn't even make any sense. Oh, did we get the delivery date for the camera? The 24th. Ooh, that's exciting. Which I thought it was going to come on the 11th. All in all, open the mail. <laughs> um, Mitch asked if we're still avoiding takeout, and we are still avoiding takeout. Yeah. Um, Jackson, somebody asked how long, how many naps he takes in a day, and he takes three in a day. About three. Yeah, about three. All right, so this first bit of mail is from, oh, let me see here. Oh, there's two of them here. Let's see. So this is from Chrissy. Um, is this the beginning of it? Let me see. This might be the beginning. Yeah. Um, so... Okay, Chrissy heard about us from some of their friends who oh. met us at a DVC party at Epcot. Oh, nice. They were picked by Disney to be in the DVC video of that night. Well, that's really neat. That's exciting, yeah. I wanted to say thank you for your videos. You bring so much joy. It was 10 years since my mom passed in March, so this was a couple years ago, so it's been 12 years now. Oh, no. Um, which is actually the same, that's the same time amount of time that my mom has passed, too. Um, and... In July, I was unexpectedly... Oh, she lost her dad. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Oh, my goodness. He really enjoyed the space and NASA-related videos, so those will remind me of him. Oh, Aww. no. Dang. Um, last November, when I was at Walt Disney World, it turns out that we went to the Very Merry Party the same night as you. Oh. 
And we missed you guys. Oh, we missed you guys. Ding, ding. Oh, no. I'm a Disneyland um, annual pass member, so maybe one of these days I'll meet you too. Thanks again for all that you do. From Chrissy. Is that on the le on the paper or did they draw that? No, this is like the the paper. Oh. Yeah. Um, well, I'm really sorry to hear about your, um, your loss. That definitely... It stinks when you, um, when, when it happens unexpectedly, that's definitely not something that, um, I'm just, I'm really sorry to hear that. That's never fun. Um, but Chrissy did send over some stuff. She sent over some, oh, these are fun. Oh, these are coasters? Some coasters from the new Lamplight Lounge at DCA. I highly recommend you eat there. Um, we've heard good stuff about it when it opened. We didn't eat there last time that we went. I wish we had. I have an Etsy shop where I sell ears. I know you have plenty of stuff, but I couldn't resist sending these. I'm a huge Halloween fan, and I know you are too. Um, I'm also including one of the Mickey Mickey Premium Bars that I make. Oh, how fun. This is awesome. Oh, so this is a Christmas ornament. So she also makes Christmas ornaments in her shop. That's really fun. Yeah, this is cute. It's like felt. Super cute. And her shop is called... Adventures in DIY. Oh, that's cute. I like that name. So if you want to check out her shop, it's adventuresindiy.etsy.com. I like that. And then she also sent over some... Haunted Mansion ears? Haunted Mansion ears. Oh, those are fun. These are fun, and they're really light. They're, like, super light. Cool. Yeah, I like these. Wow. These, this is awesome. Well, thank you, Chrissy. This is so cool. I can't wait to put this on our Christmas tree this year. Um, man, that's awesome. Did anyone try to approach approach you at the parks? Yes, took a took a, a few a few pictures. We just had to maintain social distancing. But you did say that everybody was cool with the social distancing, which makes me feel yeah really good because that was something that I was worried about was upsetting people for like not being able to take a picture or not being able to get close to each other, you know? Yeah, yeah, we did selfies where they like stood in front of me so it kind of looked like we were next to each other. Right. But I was behind them. Yeah. Um, another person asked about the P.O. Box. So the P.O. Box is closed currently. You can't, we um, aren't accepting mail at this time. I'm sorry that we didn't put the title. We didn't put it in the title, but we'll update it after the live show. Sorry, I forgot. No, no, it's okay. And then somebody said that their dog... Um, and the name went by too quick, but I, you said that your dog is with Bandit, and I'm so sorry to hear that. I know that it is, um, I don't know, honestly, it's just crappy. It's just like, it just stinks. Like, it's just not fun. Right. So I'm sorry that you are also dealing with the loss. Dang. Um, so this next one is from Brioni, I think. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Brioni? I think so. Okay. Um... So it says, Dear Tim and Jen, Merry Christmas from Australia. Hope your oh. Christmas is bright and merry in every way. Hope you have a wonderful Christmas. We recently went to Hong Kong Disneyland and bought you this 13th. I wonder if you'll, can you hold it up so they can see it? Yeah. It's a really cool magnet. Like it's super involved. Um, This 13th anniversary magnet to say thank you for all of the hours and hours of fun that you bring us. Cheers from Brioni. Um, I just wanted to say thank you. Oh, wait, I don't know if I'm supposed to read this. This might be like a personal thing that I'm not supposed to read out loud, but she just gave birth to her daughter. So, um, congratulations. Oh, and congratulations. Yeah. Oh, their dog was named Rhett. Rhett. I'm really, I'm happy that, um, Rhett and Bandit are together. And they're playing together. Yes. That's a, that makes me feel good. And hopefully they're up there with Armani too. Um, she was just saying that she had a, um, a tough time in her pregnancy and I don't want to get into it because I think this was like a personal thing. But, um, and she was just saying that our videos helped her to like maintain kind of like some positivity. So, um, congratulations on the birth of your daughter. That's very exciting. And, um, thank you so much for thinking of us. This is really awesome. Did you transplant the mint? Not yet. No, we need to. We really do need to. So if you saw the thumbnail of this video, you might have seen this artwork. This is awesome. Yeah, this is so cool. Let me see if I can. Is that is the note in there? Oh, hold on. Let's see. I think it's on the back. It is on the back. Okay, so I'm going to hold it up, but I'm going to be reading the back. So this is from Holly. 
And Holly said, I love your channel. I'm a graphic designer. I draw illustrations for fun. I got inspired by your videos and decided to make you some fan art. I drew this in Photoshop with my tablet. I hope you like it. Um, we love it. This is so cool. Like, this is so that cool. That is awesome. Yeah. I saw you were closing your P.O. box, so I wanted to get this to you before that happens. Um, my sister Shannon and brother-in-law Scott say hello and thanks for the videos. Well, hello. Let me see. There's some more on the back. Let me read this. Sorry, I'm trying to open the... You guys like that? That's like ASMR, right? I'm sorry. Let's see here. Okay. So she said, oh, the art is 11 by 17. Oh, cool. Okay. And there's two copies in there. Yeah, that's awesome. So we'll definitely frame this. This is really cool. I like it. Yeah. And there's even like a theme park pigeon in there. Oh, where? There's oh, yeah. Walt, um, the partner statues in there. This is a awesome. Mario. The Spaceship Earth and Cinderella Castle. Everything. I yeah. like this, this rendition of me makes me look very kind and not angry. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome, Holly. You did great. I love it. I can't wait to frame that one. Well, the crinkling made me sleepy. Sorry. Yes, it is a beautiful picture. They did such a good job. That's so funny. Um, put the sound on your channel. What sound? The ASMR? Just the crinkling? The crinkling? That's all. There's like a video of just crinkly noises. <laughs> okay, so. Ooh, any word on when DLC will start sailing again? No. I don't think they've mentioned that at all. I'm kind of curious about that. Um, so this one is from Harper. Okay. Harper said, I love watching your vids. My name is Harper. I'm eight years old. I love all the vids you have uploaded. I hope your dogs feel better. I pray that your dog gets better. I got you guys a picture of you and two presents for each of you. And thanks for the shout out for me and my sister, Everly. So oh. she sent over some, um, a uh, little Olaf. An Olaf and a Pumba. <laughs> I love it. I don't even know if I can get this to focus on them, but there they are. And then she drew the Tim Tracker faces. That's Tim and now it's time to pay the price. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a crease in there, but it's kind of, can you see? I like that. It, it kind of, you know, this like reminds me of a uh, fallout. Oh yeah. Like Pip boy. Is that uh -huh. what his name is? Um, uh, what is his name? It I is, know, I know I what you're talking Pip about. Boy. When I was a young warthog. Well, thank you, Harper and Everly. We really appreciate it. Thanks for sending us there you go. an awesome package. Oh yeah. Let me set this down. Will you do more podcasts with Chris and Jen? Um, I think we will actually, because we want to go on their podcast. Yeah, it's I just, not a bobblehead Olaf. It was just no, a little Olaf. but we have a bobblehead Olaf somewhere actually. We do. Yeah. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Okay. So this next one is from. Um, let's Josh see. and Stephanie. Josh and Stephanie. My son Taylor, um, who's 10, and my daughter Emily, who are 7, wanted to send letters to you before you closed the P.O. box. We love your videos. Um, we watch as a family. We started watching in tw 2016 when we started planning our Walt Disney World trip. We still enjoy watching and keep up the good work and don't feel bad if you need to take a day for yourselves occasionally. Um... And remember, if God brings you to it, he will get you through it. I like that. That's actually really good advice. That's nice. Yeah. People are asking about the storms. It's not It's not raining down here. Is it not? No. It's... Well, there were storms, though, the other day. Oh, yeah. There's been storms. It's, it's summertime now, yeah. so there's, like, storms every day like but this. I, I feel like they're more intense right now, and I don't know if that's just because every, like, the weather is getting intense in general, but, like... Even last night, it was like the sky was like black. Like yeah. it was so dark outside. It was scary. But it didn't really rain that much. Right. Which was so weird. It is weird. Yeah. I don't know. So um, so Emily says, we like watching your... So Emily is seven at this time. She was seven. So now she is nine. Um, we like watching your videos every day. We make some of your food, like the cheeseburger egg rolls, and we enjoy the ride videos. To see if we may want to ride on our next Disney trip. Oh, we love you. I like that. Emily has really nice handwriting. 
And so does Taylor. So this one is from Taylor. So Taylor is like 12 now. I love your YouTube videos. My family and I went to Disney World in 2017 and we had an awesome time. We were hoping to see you there. I rode Space Mountain and Rock and Roller Coaster. Wow. I hope you'll continue to get new subscribers. Thank you Thank guys you. so much. That's, that's very nice. Yeah, that's super nice. And then this is from Emily. Emily drew this for us. Oh, is that your hand? I think so. Wow. Very cool. Thank you, Emily. And they also sent over this keychain that says Mississippi. And they sent over this pen. Does it say Mississippi? It does. It's a Mississippi nice. pen. Does it have a thing on the end of it for using your... your? Oh, I thought maybe it had one of those like... Oh, like the... For using touch pads or whatever? Yeah. And then this is a postcard from Mississippi. And this says... Oh, so it's basically like the Magnolia. I guess Magnolia is their state flower. Um, the Great Mississippi River Bridge is this. And then the Northern Mockingbird. I'd like to go to uh, Mississippi. I know. It looks really pretty. Seems nice. I've been once. When did you go to Mississippi? Um, back when I was a young I went to oh. Graceland. <laughs> but we didn't go to Graceland in Mississippi. I mean, Graceland's not in Mississippi. That's we just. It was like a road trip that I went on with Josh. Ah. Um, Jackson eating his black beans and mango is so flipping cute. It is so cute. He's the he cutest loves baby. it. He literally like whenever we get the man the black bean and the mangoes, he's like, like he he like wants to eat it. Whereas when we had the um, uh, what the was broccoli, it? Broccoli, the broccoli and pears. It was yeah. He hated it. So this next one is from Kyle and Lisa. Thank you for creating such a fun channel. We look forward to coming home and watching it every night. Um, like you guys, we're big Disney and Universal fans, and we try to go once a year. We live in New Hampshire, so it's nice to get a more frequent look at the parks through your channel. And we love Halloween. We have a trip booked for Halloween Horror Nights and Mickey's Not So Scary. We were just in Salem, Massachusetts the other day and saw the shirt that we had to get for you. It's designed and printed by a Salem local. We know you... Oh, it says, we know you asked not to send stuff, but we had to get this for you. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, that's fun. Welcome to Salem, Massachusetts. It's Mickey with a human skull. <laughs> it says Disneyland for the dead. I like that. That's fun. That's cool. What size is that? Um, A large. Yes. That's really perfect. Like, it's kind of creepy, but it's really cool. Wow. <laughs> I love it. Um, that's awesome. They said, oh, they said creep us. And then they sent over their, um, I think their Instagram names. So thank you to Kyle and Lisa. This is really neat. Thank you so much. Um, are you going to go back to the park soon? I love the video. Somebody, oh, yes. Yeah. Somebody said, speaking of solids, make sure you're not giving Jackson too much. Uh, so because breast milk should be the main source of of nutrition oh and it, and still it is. is yeah yeah uh he gets about four ounces of food a day between two meals yeah so he's not eating that much yeah. it's just two um oh, no four tablespoons not four ounces yeah tablespoons four tablespoons but it's just to um it's almost like so he gets his breast milk but it's just to kind of just fill him up a little bit after the breast milk like but he's still eating the same amount of breast milk, if that makes sense. Yeah. He's just hungry. He's a hungry boy. He's and also it's uh, like teaching, not teaching, but like getting his system to like used to solid food. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this next one is from Jonathan. And I love this like this. Um, Card? Yeah, like this paper that they're using. And I love that they literally did it on a typewriter. Like an actual typewriter? Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's really cool. This is from Hallmark. Yeah, like, check it out. It's, like, on a typewriter, though. I wow. love that. Um, okay, so it says, My wife is a big fan of your YouTube channel, and she suggested I send you some of the Orange Bird magnets that I made. These so, are awesome. Yeah, these are really cool. So they made some magnets that are each of the Dapper Dans. Like, here's all the all the different Dapper Dan outfits. Oops, I'm covering them. Sorry. <laughs> but, like, the the blue outfit, the yellow outfit, the purple outfit, the red outfit. 
These are really, really cool. We might do some giveaways with these because he sent so many. Um, so then he sent some from each of the pavilions at like Epcot. Epcot pavilions. So we have Mexico. Here is the French orange bird. Very cool. He has his baguette and his little mustache. Here is the Norwegian French bird, and he has some school the bread. The Norwegian French bird? Yeah. Oh, the Norwegian orange bird. Sorry. <laughs> but he had a little school bread. Here is the Canadian orange bird with his maple syrup and his, like, Mountie hat. Here is the orange bird from Japan, and I think he's got the drum. Oh, he has ramen. I think this might be from China. No, I think that's Japan. Japan, no? which one's China? Um. Oh, he didn't specify. Oh, okay, so I'm not sure. Yeah. Sorry, I was just guessing. And then this one probably Japan though is because the, the yeah Japan. I think it's because the ramen. Yeah. And then the English orange bird he has his um what do you call that like the fish and chips what do you call that hat um it's like a police hat but i don't know it has a special name yeah this is the moroccan orange bird he has like the tea oh and, and a fez yeah and the um i don't know what this is that's something yeah i don't know maybe that's the cup for the tea here is the italian orange bird with the spaghetti Ooh. And the, like, the gondola. Um, he's, like, a little gondola driver. And then... Oh, this is America. So here's the American orange bird with the turkey leg. Oh, that's fun. And then... We have two more. This one is China. So this is yeah. the friend, the orange bird from China with some little um, dumplings. And then we also have the... Well, Bobby oh. hat. The German orange bird with his pretzel and his little German hat. That's fun. And then also, I thought this was really cool, but this is the popsicle wall from Toy Story Land. Oh, that's really fun. Yeah, and it's a magnet. Wow. That's neat. What? <laughs> Dizzy Jess D says a policeman's hat, and by law, a pregnant woman can ask to go for a wee in that. <laughs> in the policeman's hat? Is that, wow. are you sure? <laughs> that seems like a strange law. I wonder if like, hat is called a custodian. Oh, it is. That's weird. I wonder how that law came to be. Um, it's called a Bobby's helmet. Oh no! Naughty Sauce said that's cannibalism because I think because of the turkey leg, the orange bird eating the turkey leg. Oh. <laughs> and uh, you're right. Dang. Oh, this is exciting. What is it? So this is from Michelle. Um, I was, I'm a 63 year old retired teacher at Disney love and Texan. Howdy. My 32 year old son told me your guys videos about a month ago. I only had to watch one and I was hooked. So every day I search for a new video and then I wander through your other videos and try to catch up on your backstory. One video I watched where you guys were fixing breakfast in your new home. You had turned your ketchup bottle upside down in an attempt to get the last bit of ketchup. When you open the bottle, it exploded. Um, about two days after that, I watched this video on the shopping. Oh, I was shopping at Bed Bath and Beyond, and I saw these cosmetic spatty things, and it dawned on me that you could use these to get the last bit of ketchup. So I purchased them for you. Um, Thank I, you. That's yeah, this is actually like that's such a good idea. Thank you so much. Your videos bring me loads of joy, and thank you for inviting the world into your life. I'm glad to be a part of the family. Um, their next Disney trip was November of, so this was a couple years ago. Hopefully, hopefully you got to go. I don't know how to subscribe to your channel, but I intend to get my son to teach me, and then I can comment on your videos. It's just like a little rubber spatula like you would have in your, in your drawer in your kitchen. But it's like a little tiny one, and it's for makeup, which actually, I feel like I can use the other one, because there's two in this. I can use the other one to get the last of my lotion. I have this lotion that, like, I can never get the last bit of it out. So that's exciting. Thank you so much, Michelle. I love that. Um, and this Michelle, is brilliant. Yeah, that's so smart. Thank you. I love that. Um, may God bless you with continued love and good health and safety and all good things. Thank you, Michelle. We really appreciate that. That was like such a good, um, a thoughtful gift. Oh, no. The person said that the, the English one is not 
an English flag. It was oh, the UK it's the flag. UK flag. Sorry, I feel like I do that every single time. That's one thing that I can never like wrap my brain around. Being an American, I feel like I always get it wrong. Or I shouldn't blame it on being an American, <laughs> but like I always get it wrong. Wait, what's the difference? The UK is comprised of like a bunch of not a bunch. Well, I know what but the UK more than one. is versus like, but what's the difference between the flags? Oh, I don't know. Oh, it has like extra like. There's like extra stripes on the outside, isn't there? I don't know. Is there? I'm gonna look it up real quick. Okay. What is this? What is it? Oh, this goes back here. Okay. Oh, that's for standing it up. So this is. Let me see here. Make sure you clean the window. What? Tim looks happy. This doesn't say who it's from. The Bucks. So this is from the Bucks in Yorktown, Indiana, I believe. And this is a, like a board that they made with Tim and Jen established 2011. Um, and there are little signs that it comes with it, like Target. Disney. Oh. Wait, I don't understand. What is it? I don't know. What does this say? Hold on, Make I'm sure trying to figure out what this to get is. the dirt and oil off. Oh, you put these on the window? Yeah, you put them, I guess, on your car? Oh, caution. Stops for Disney and Target. Oh, okay. Oh. I was so confused. I okay, get it. so this is a separate thing. I thought they were connected. So this is just like a cool, a little like, you know, to hang like a picture on. Gotcha. Um, got it. This is really cute. Thank you. I love the colors. But then they also sent these for our car, and the words it spells out: caution, stops for Disney and Target. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. That's cute. I like that. I love it. <laughs> cool. So thank you to the Bucks. That's awesome. Thank you so much. The English flag is white with a red cross. Oh, I, oh. I thought that was Norway. Is that not Norway? I don't know. What's Norway? Is there's like an X and not like a not like a cross? I don't know. That's the English. Okay, so that's the English flag. Okay. So what's Norway's flag? Do your shirts run long? I normally wear an extra large. Um, I feel no. like, honestly, the shirts run very true to size. Well, I feel like mine are a little bit smaller than most large shirts. But you, I... you get the slim fit. No, I get the regular. Do you? Yeah, I get regular, like. Oh, okay. So they run a little bit small, in my opinion. Norway has a blue cross on red. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's like the... Gotcha. Yeah. That makes sense. I, I feel like I'm not up to date on my crosses. I'm <laughs> sorry, or on my flags. Um... So this next one is from Rachel, Catherine, and Violet, and says, we've been watching for a while now. My three-year-old is learning to say, and now it's time to pay the price, and oh. we are huge fans wearing your merch on a regular basis. We Thank you. recently went to Disneyland Paris and saw these and thought of you guys. Um, these are so cute. So this is a Marie pin. Oh. I love it. It's, That's awesome. She has like these cute little, like, she's like a baby, like the little baby eyes. And then this is like a French goofy. Oh. oh. <laughs> I love these things. These are so cute. Um, so this is awesome. Uh, we find your videos invaluable, especially for planning our next trip in May 2019. We are so jealous of your Tokyo Disney trip, and one day we will get to go. All of our love, Rachel, Catherine, and Violet. Um, and this is, the card says Dapper. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you. This is really nice. Okay, so somebody explained this. it. What? The Union Jack, which is the flag of the UK, okay. is a combination of all of the flags. Oh. All three of them. Gotcha. Right? Because the UK is England, Scotland, Southern Ireland, right? Oh, and Wales? Fun. Or... I don't know. I feel like I need to like go back to school for this kind of stuff because I, I just don't know. Right. So this one 
Oh, very cool. Okay, so this is from um, Official Ant Moose. And oh, yeah. It doesn't... Ruth, there we go. So this is from Ruth. Um, you probably may or may not remember me from the postcard. I'm the girl who collects reborn dolls. I saw a video on Facebook and I had to look up the tutorial because I knew I could make these and I know just what to use. My first attempt failed, but with the right materials and not cheap knockoffs, I was able to make it look like something. As I was preparing all my supplies, I had to send a pair to you and I wasn't sure how to pad the headband. Oh, so feel free to make them more comfortable. Um, so Ruth made these lollipop ears. Wow. Yeah, these are so cool. They Oh, sorry. I think I was too close. They look like legit like candy. Yeah, I wonder what they're made out of. I don't know. I kind of feel like it's clay because it's soft. Is it? Yeah. But it's not. It like springs back. It's like a foam or something. They're really cool looking. They look really good. You did such a good job. Um, and then they have like the little purple beads around the ears and a little sparkly red bow. Huh. Yeah, these are cool. Let me see. Oh, no, they're a little bit cracked on this side. But I think that that's just from the post. Yeah, I think it's from shipping. But I feel like it's it's okay that they're a little bit cracked because they're connected, like, on the front. There's glue on the front. Let me see. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, these are cool. I like that. Yeah, I love this. You did such a good job. These are great. Oh no, somebody said the whale whales is not included in the flag. How why isn't it included? Isn't it part of the It is, but it's not. I don't know why it's not included. Huh. So I wanna go through the rest of this mail and then the next mail vlog that we do, we're going to oh maybe resin. That makes sense, it could be resin. Um the next mail vlog that we do, we're gonna get into the packages and then we'll be all done with the mail. Ooh, I'm excited for this. Are they heavy? No, they're super light. Super light. Yeah. Well, somebody said, oh, no, I have a yawn. No yawning allowed. Somebody said your hair looks brown and they love it. It's um, it's super faded. Like my, the red is just like so faded just from not getting my hair done. So hopefully I'll be able to have red hair again soon. <laughs> um, okay, so this is from Matthew, who is 11. Um, and Matthew said... I really adore you guys, and I've been watching you for a long time. You always cheer me up after a long day, and you make me laugh. I've been a huge Disney fan, and I've been to Walt Disney World six times, which is a lot for an 11-year-old. I love your enthusiasm, your love of life, and I love Walt Disney World updates. Thanks for reviving dead memes since 2009. <laughs> you know what's funny about that is I feel like we're so old that like by the time it gets to us, it's already a dead meme. Yeah. <laughs> um... Thanks for giving me a daily dose of heaven every day. I hope to meet you and do the outro, and I love your merch. Um, your home vlogs are funny. Oh, and your funny catchphrases. Lots of love from Canada. So um, this is actually really cool because Matthew drew, like, a fun little, like, he did all of our... Matthew has, like, a, he's very talented here. He did King of the Bus, our outro... Little pictures of us, home vlog, attention potatoes. If you're wearing hats and glasses, best remove them. Theme park pigeon, Armani and Bandit. This is awesome. You did so good. Very cool. Thank you so much. And then they also sent over a little Lego a, set. It was a Harry Potter blind minifig, and it's Voldemort. Oh, that's cool. And it came with a little snake. And then also it came with... Two wands, it looks like. Oh, really? Yeah. Does he have two wands? No, he only has one. I don't know why it came with two. Oh, huh. in case you lose one, maybe? Maybe, yeah. That's awesome. Thank you so much. So now he's like, was it you, Harry Potter? <laughs> he does have some talent with those drawings. He did really good. For an 11-year-old, too. Like, that's pretty... I couldn't do stuff like that at 11. Voldemort. I love it. Should he hold the snake too? Is this is this what Voldemort oh does goodness. in the movie? Oh, I remember this. What is it? This is Chad. Oh yeah, I remember that. Remember Chad? Yeah. Okay, so Chad said, just a quick note to celebrate your first videos to reach 3 million views, the Crayola experience. 
Um, thank you so much. And now I think it's over 4 million views, which is so crazy. Um, I have to also send something for the occasion. I'm hoping to meet up with you again at the Orlando Informer. Oh, there's like a meetup that happens at Universal. Um, and we didn't get to go, so I'm sorry that we missed you in April. I was a highlight of being able to meet you not once but twice and to do your outro during the celebration of Harry Potter. Hope to see you again. So yeah. this is Chad. We met him and his um, mom, and they were so super nice. They were literally like the nicest people. Um, and they also sent over another oh, blind bag. Another Lego blind bag. Yeah. I have to bite at this one again. And then this is, oh, let's see. Oh, this is so cool. So Chad also sent this. Whoa. I don't know if you can Whoa. see it. It's hard to see that it's like a 3D thing. Can you kind of see that? This is so neat. It's like a 3D pop-up card. Is it from Love Pop or does it say? Um, it doesn't say. It just says my favorite incantation. But you can see the characters are like flying around. Is it Hogwarts? Yeah. Oh. This is cool. These are really cool. Um, Kelly asked, what brand are Jackson's flashcards? So the flashcards actually came with his... Heck, his, uh, his, like, uh, his um, tummy time arch, which was... Baby the, Einstein? It's Yeah, it was the Baby Einstein music. It was the one about the music. It came with, like, a piano. Um... I don't remember what the name of it was exactly, but if you look up the Baby Einstein Tummy Time Playmat um, music, like just add the word music in there, it should pop right up. So here's my question. That was a blind bag. Yeah. But like, he sent it to us to celebrate the Lego thing. Crayola. A Crayola thing. Yeah. And it's a Crayola. Yeah. But it was blind. How did he know? Were they all Crayola? No. Oh, how did he know? Oh, that's funny. I wonder how he knew. Maybe he felt it. Maybe. That's funny. It's a little it's a little um crayon. <laughs> I love that. A little Lego lady or a little crayon lady. Crayon. So, thank you so much to Chad. This was really, really nice. Let me see. Maybe maybe it'll make sense when I see the entire collection. Cause we'll Oh, because it's from the Lego movie. Oh yeah. I guess we had only Bag ASMR is amazing. It could have been this giraffe too if he felt around in it. But I think you would feel the the like, like pointy of yeah it? the pointy top. So what is hmm. this? This is oh the sword and the stone. This is cool. So this is from the Prentice family: Lindsay, Sarah, Max, and Micah. And this is a sword and the stone like little postcard. This is awesome. I love this artwork. Thank you for all of your great videos. They help tide us over until our next Disney World trip. And then they sent over this. Somebody said, you know, with the barcode, that's how you can tell what. Oh, is Lego that how is. you know? Gotcha. Crayon. Um, crayon. So the Prentice family sent over this. Oh, this is so cute. It's a Toy Story notebook. And it is, um, and look at this Dumbo sticker. This is so cute. Yeah, and then a little 3D printed stitch head. I love these. I'm assuming this is like a keychain, maybe? I think so. And this is this, awesome. This is from Modern Inventions. Very cool. So this might be their shop. They didn't mention if it was their shop, but um, this is really nice. I love the print on this notebook. I like addicted to notebooks. I have like an entire box full of notebooks that I feel like I should do a giveaway someday of all of the notebooks that I have. Um, That's pretty awesome though. Yeah, this is really cool. I like it a lot. Let's see here. Um, there's not much more mail left. Oh, what's this? It looks like a little hamburger. Oh. I like that. Let me see if I can get it out for you. Okay, you want to show them? Yeah, I do. Oh, it looks like they made it. Oh. That's cool. It's a handmade hamburger. Oh, and then there's like chain. a handmade red rose to like hold the, the letter shut. A what? The red rose. Oh, wow. It's like a like a stamp. Can you see it? It's yeah. kind of hard to see, but it like holds the stamp, uh, holds the letter shut. So this is from Waverly. Um, 
the bacon cotton candy person. <laughs> um, so they sent over bacon cotton oh, candy. Oh, yeah. okay. I love sculpting and I made these. Um, what does it say? I made these. I also make other keychains that I will send. When you go back to Disney Springs, you need to go to the Cupcake ATM at Sprinkles. Okay. Go around 8 p.m. since the line is usually long. My favorite is Strawberry. We also went to Tokyo and based our Disney videos off of your videos. Oh, based our Disney days off of your videos. Whenever we go to Disney, I always repeat your facts to my family and feel like a super Disney genius. Nice. Thank you for doing these, vis these videos. Also, thank you for pronouncing my name correctly. That's awesome. So Waverly is 14. So probably 16 now. Oh. Yeah, almost 16. 15 and a half now. Wow. But that's awesome. So they made this keychain for you. That's really neat. Because you love hamburgers. I do love hamburgers. <laughs> Next overseas Disney park. We kind of want to just go back to Tokyo. I really want to go back to Tokyo. You want to hold these up? Yeah. Oh, it's like a Tower of Terror Mickey pin. Oh, that's cool. Cover burger dub. Face. Oh, no, you're covering my burger dub. Oh. <laughs> and then um, this is like a construction hi, goofy. He's got a little level. Very cool. So this is from the Brown family from David, Samantha, Lincoln, and Willow. Um, let me see. So one is to gift and one is to trade. So one of these pins we can keep and one we should give away. Okay. So greetings from South Bend, Indiana. Our family loves your videos and we have made viewing them a part of our daily routine. We love watching your Disney adventures and learning more about Disney through your videos. A couple weeks ago, we watched a video where you did pin trading at the Polynesian and other places. And we saw how sad Tim looked when he realized he had accidentally traded away a pin he intended to keep. So I searched online and was able to locate a replacement, our gift to you. Oh, nice. So for the first time this year, our children will be pin trading in October. My son included a pin in this package for you in hopes that you would be his first trade. Oh. We're looking forward to being at Disney over Halloween and enjoying all of the fabulous Disney Halloween fun, as well as checking out the Food and Wine Festival, and maybe we'll see you there. Um, enjoy the rest of your summer. Well, thank you so much. That was so awesome. Um, I'm sorry that we didn't get this um, in time to meet up with you to trade. Right. Maybe we did meet up with you. I, I feel like sometimes we have seen you and just didn't realize it yet. Like, you right. know, after we read these. So thank you for locating the pin, though. That's awesome. That, like, is so nice that people would take the time to do that. So um, hopefully the next time that we're all in the parks together, we can do some pin trading with you. Because we do have a ton of pins to trade. Oh, what is this? What is it? I don't know. Oh. They're for for your uh for your brazier. Brazier. So this is from Kathy. Um thank you. Uh, we are native Floridians and we love watching your YouTube. We are Oh, you're such a cool couple. It's come to become an inspiration for my 16-year-old son Dylan. He suggested that I send you my product, and I've included our breast cancer awareness model for Jen to try and share with others. Bra Leaf is a non-surgical bra solution that was patented to provide an instant lift for up to a Z cup size. Oh, my gosh. My goodness. Stop falling shoulder straps and conceal straps all in one. Many women love using Bra Leaf, and we hope that you do, too. Huh. We appreciate you, and thank you for your time, and hope to see you in the parks. Cool. So this is from Kathy. Yeah, so you just like put it in the back of your bra. Oh. And it like pulls the straps together. That's a good idea. Yeah. I was trying to figure out what it was. Yeah, yeah. So oh. you just like put it like in the middle of your back. Yeah, yeah. And it like makes it like turns a, it into a racer back. Like an right? X, yeah. That's really cool. And then you go like this. Huh, that's interesting. So maybe what I'll do on my channel, because I have um, some stuff to... Oh, geez. Oh, no, there was confetti in here. Um, I have some stuff to give away on my channel, like some stuff to do a giveaway with. So maybe what I'll do is I can do a giveaway with some of that... Um, with some of those. Yeah. Because I, I probably don't need all of them. But what a good idea that is. It's a good idea. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for thinking of me. So this one is from Rachel. <laughs> 
And Rachel has a shop called Enchanted Heart Designs. Oh. Wanted to thank both of you for everything that you do for the community, even on hard days. We are recent fans of your page, and you gave us the confidence to open up our shop. Nice. So we hope you love the pins. Um, so let's see here. So she they sent over Park Hopper Partner. Oh, okay, cool. So these are some pins that I don't know if you can read that. Can you read that? It Definitely says not. it's in like black with gold writing and it says Park Hopper Partner. Right there. Cute. Yeah, so she sent over two. So maybe what I'll do. Oh, it says, Will you be my Oh, it says, will you be my Park Hopper partner? So, like, we are Park Hopper partners. Gotcha. I see. Okay. Very it's cool. It's like a, like a Valentine. Yeah, that's that really cute. you can cute. give out to somebody. That's a good idea. So, their shop is Enchanted Heart Designs. I'm going to hold it up so you guys can read it. That's pretty neat. Yeah. So, if you want to check them out, you can search them and, um, and yeah, and see that. That was awesome. So we just have a couple more and then we're going to call it a day. When are you going to do another Lego set? I don't know. I know. Ooh, let me see. Somebody said, I think it's sweet. Laura. Laura said, I think it's sweet that you hold on to the fan mail. So every single bit of fan mail that we have ever received from you guys, we still have every single bit yeah, of it. Yeah, we have everything. Yeah, it's all um, like filed away or um, organized into boxes. But we have all of it. What are these? Oh, they're for, they're like for Starbucks. <gasps> these are so fun. Oh my gosh, let me read this. So this is from So Licious Boutique from Sarah. Sarah said, our family loves watching your videos. It's fun to be able to watch as a family and plan our Disney trips. I made a chapstick holder. Oh, it's a That's chapstick this. holder. It's like a little, <gasps> put your chapstick in there. That is so smart. I can never find my chapstick in my bag. And you can like, in the diaper bag, you can clip this to like the key thing. What the heck? I love that. Okay. Um, for you and coffee cozies for each of you. Love the Connell family. This one's obviously for me. So this is from Sean, Sarah, Brooklyn, Logan, and Hudson. And that one's for you. <laughs> these are really cool. I like these. So it has the green alien and Buzz Lightyear. These are so, what a good idea. And they're insulated too, it feels yeah, like. Yeah, they are. But yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, this is awesome. Oh, Jackson is actually waking up, so we probably should go get him. Somebody, Ingrid said it's weird that he didn't wake up. He's having a long nap. So we'll go um, actually grab him here in a second so you guys can see him. We're trying not to, like, get him right away. Right. We want to try to get him used to, like, his crib. So this was awesome from So Licious Boutique. I'm going to show you guys her card so that you guys can see. Uh, sorry, can you see it? Is it never going to go into focus? There it goes for a second. Uh. <laughs> but that's really cool. I love these. Thank you so much. So let me set these down and go grab him. You want me to wait for you to come back to do the last one? There's two more. So actually, okay. if you want to do this one. Okay. Which it looks like it's. Um, I can do it. Like postcards. Yeah. Is this from Roger? It is from Roger. Oh. Roger always sends us like interesting stuff from his hometown. Yeah. So he always sends us like cryptid stuff. Let's see, this summer I made a visit to Admiral Perry's Eagle Island. I also visited two places in Portland called the Tate House and the Victoria Mansion and also took a tour of some of the stories from the Eastern Cemetery, Eastern Cemetery in Portland. So let's see here. This is... Oh, this side maybe? I'm taking this pig to the county fair. Oh, it's a story about the white barn that's the inspiration for Charlotte's Web. Well, that's pretty interesting. And then a map from the Eastern Cemetery. This is very hard to get without it being whited out. Oh, celebrating 350 years. That's pretty interesting. And then some postcards from Admiral Perry's summer home. 
which looks very nice. Nice and secluded. This one is Admiral Perry's summer home again. Is this the same? Oh yeah, it's just from a different angle. Okay. What is this? This is Eagle Island. And that's where Admiral Perry's summer home is. I wonder who Admiral Perry is. Um, what's this? This is Unique Three-Sided Fireplace. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Oh, you want back to sleep? And then this is a Victoria Mansion in Portland, Maine. That's awesome. I would live in this house. Okay, it was a false alarm. He's because he's his teeth are coming through. He has been napping for like a little bit longer, so he's actually he went back to sleep. He does this thing now too. I don't know if you guys have seen the video where he sleeps on his side. So he'll like he'll do this thing where he just is like Oh, that's fun. Yeah, so he went back to sleep. This is from the inside of the Victoria Mansion. And then a few more from the inside of the Victoria Mansion. I'll have to read this after because I missed this part. I was just saying that he went to these different places. He didn't explain what they were, though. <laughs> this is the House Museum. A 1755 home built for Captain George Tate, senior mast agent for the British Royal Navy. That's a, like These houses are cool. Oh, what's this? This is the Tate House. Same guy, the, the mast agent George Tate. And this is also the Tate House. Pretty interesting stuff. Thank you very much, Roger. I'm going to see this. This is neat. This is the, the barn that Charlotte's Web was based off of. Oh, really? Yeah. And that's where? Uh, actually, I don't know. Huh. This is... I don't know. The Zuckerman's Farm? Uh, in Brooklyn, Maine. That's where it is. So, thank you very much, Roger. That was pretty neat. Yeah. I always like his letters because they're... It's, it's such interesting historical stuff. What'd you find? Um, this one is one that I'm not supposed to read out loud. Yeah? But it's from Jack. And if Jack is seeing this, we did get your letter. And we just wanted to say thank you for sending it. Yeah, thank um, you so much. Yeah, your prints are really, really cool. So, thank you. Um... Man, well, hopefully in the next show, the next, the next um, mail vlog, he'll be more awake and we can bring little baby out to see you guys. So this is the very last piece of mail. This is from uh... oh, this is cool. Okay, so this is from it doesn't say it just says UK family, the Stevens family. Hi Tim and Jen, my wife wrote an my wife wrote a daily blog whilst we were at Disney, and I've turned it into a book. I thought you guys might enjoy the perspective from a UK family. We're oh. massive fans, the Stevens family. That is such a good idea. So this is the book. It's the three of us in Disney World. Oh, my gosh. So it's like their daily blog rather than a vlog, like not a, not a video um, blog, but an actual like written blog. They turned it into a book. Oh, and then they also say what they like what money they spent. And how many steps they did. Oh, that's really smart. And what their, I believe their daughter's favorite ride was? Matilda. Yeah. <gasps> this is so smart. It even has emojis in it. <laughs> huh. 21,000 steps at Magic Kingdom. Wow. This is such a good idea. It literally says, like, so they spent $25 in the tip at Tony's. On the tip because they had the, the dining plan. Oh, because they had the dining plan. Okay, and then they spent $36.70 at California Grill on the tip and $12 on a mini balloon. 
Oh, I see here. Gotcha. Um, you know what Matilda's favorite ride was for the day? What the total was for the day that they spent? That is such a good idea. So here, we'll show you guys the beginning, the front of the book in case you want to check it out. But it's called The Three of Us. Uh, can you see it? Sorry. The Three of Us in Disney World. And it's from Laura Stevens. It's pretty interesting. And that's a really good idea. Oh, and then they give their, their like top tips from like taking this trip. Their quick service reviews. Earl of huh. Sandwich was an 8 out of 10. Nice. French Quarter was an 8 out of 10. Was this Disneyland? No. What's French Quarter? Port Orleans. Yeah, but isn't that Disneyland? Port Orleans French Quarter. Oh, the hotel. Okay, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, All Star Movies was a 5 out of 10. Wow. It's pretty uh, neat. So Tully Canteen was only a 7 out of 10. Uh-oh. That's funny. Man, this is a good idea. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you from the Stevens family. This is really neat. Yeah. Um, will you be calling Jackson Jack, as you said early on? Um, you know, I feel like later on in life we will. But I feel like right now he's a Jackson still. Yeah. Um, can you do a Disney ride tier list video? What Maybe. is that? Maybe? Yes. Yeah. Sure. So we would do like our like our top, like our like so excited, our like meh, and our like ugh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can you rank every ride at Islands of Adventure? I mean... Sure. Maybe. Oh, no. I know Jackson needs a sleep, but I wish we got to see him. I'm sorry. I think it's his teeth because he has his little teeth coming in. He's just like... His sleep schedule is so weird right now. Yeah. So when, he's, when he sleeps, like when he's sleeping, we want him to sleep. Right. Because he didn't sleep very well like last night. Um... Did you see the POV video for Universal Velocicoaster? I saw somebody made one. Is that? It's not official. But is it like legit? Do you think it's close to what it's going to be? I don't know. If it is, it looked really cool. Yeah. I'd love a ranking video. Maybe we'll do that then. Okay. Yeah. My dad loves your watch strap and bought one from Amazon. Nice. Oh, thank you. Um, Nate, who is five years old, wants to know our favorite animals. Uh... That's a good question. I like sloths. I like a blue whale. Oh, yeah? Oh, no. Courtney's phone is dying. Oh, no. Courtney, I'm sorry. Can so, I yeah. send you a cookie recipe on Instagram? Yeah, you can send it um, in the DMs, I think. Oh, Harry Styles is announcing the new dates at 3 p.m. Oh, that's exciting. What time is it? 2.20. Oh, okay. So soon. Very cool. Uh, so, yeah, I think we will call it a day. Oh, yeah. So we got through all of the, um, the like, envelope mail. So yeah. the next mail vlog that we do, we're going to get started on the packages. And then once we're done with the packages, um, we'll be done with all the mail. We'll be totally caught up on the mail, which is exciting. Wow. So. We did it. We should do tie-dye cool. for an activity. I actually, oh, yeah. I really want, want to. to. Yeah, I've been watching people do tie-dye and it looks cool. I saw Jenna Marbles did a bleach tie-dye video. Like, bleach um oh yeah you, like it's like tie-dye but instead of color you use bleach oh okay. it turned out really cool like with a black shirt she did it with like blue with black with purple oh, that's pretty neat yeah it turned out awesome huh but we had a lot of fun with you guys today thank you for hanging out i know this was a long one um but we will see you guys maybe friday we're not really sure when the next live show is going to be probably not friday probably sa maybe saturday maybe, maybe saturday? sunday one day for It'll, sure. Yeah. It's going to we'll, happen. We'll try to keep you guys like up to date. Maybe we'll post on Instagram um, if we, when, when we're going to do it. But, um, but yeah, thank you guys. Yeah. yeah. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. And uh, we will see you guys next time. Bye you guys. Bye everybody. Have a good day. Happy birthday. If it's your birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs>